Not so long ago, I got my body fat professionally tested at 8.3%, a verdict so controversial, you'd think the Supreme Court was involved. Since then, I removed any question of the number's accuracy by giving myself a fitness hall pass, eating what I want, when I want, and doing little, actually, no cardio. But one day I decided enough was enough and I committed to getting back on track over 30 days with the goal to lose five to six pounds, maintaining my size, and trademark girth. Here are my results. On day number one, I was the heaviest I've ever been in the morning, weighing in at 194 pounds. I looked and felt extremely bloated, felt disgusting. Now let's fast forward 30 donutless days later. We have made it day 30, feeling good, feeling like I've shrunk all over, hopefully not everywhere. But the goal was to lose six pounds over the 30 days. I think I did it, but let's go see. 186.6 pounds. We started at 194 and now we are 186.6, which means I lost 7.4 pounds and I am so happy with that. I beat my goal, that's all that matters. I look and I, I feel a lot leaner, especially in my face, I feel less bloated. I feel like I see more vascularity in my arms. I just feel really, really good. Will, you're still not sure. My goal was never to get shredded. It was supposed to be to get healthy, happy, fit, enjoying my workouts, just getting back on track, and most importantly, having something I can sustain once this video is done. I am happy today. You just caught Will in like the best mood ever, and everything I've been doing every single day for the 30 days has been pretty much the same, so I'm gonna take you guys through my daily routine, starting with breakfast. So I am channeling my inner basic bodybuilder with some oats and eggs. This is the face of a man who has been filling people for generations. Just look at this guy. So we have two servings, which is 220 calories, in my bowl, just kind of bubbling away. And I'm gonna be based, Will. I'm gonna call myself out before you guys call me out in the comments. Yes, I know I said oats don't fill me up, but as I've gotten older, you know, I've learned life is more than skipping leg day and eating until you're absolutely sick. I wanna feel good too. But we're gonna jazz up the oatmeal with a little bit of a hack. So we're gonna add some cauliflower rice. What this is gonna do is give the oats a size boost, like it just saw its first Playboy. And we're gonna add it in right now. You're not even gonna taste it. It's like a frat guy roofing your taste buds. Another pro tip, just keep on adding water. Really test the limits of the oatmeal. You'll get a lot more volume that way too. Just fried up two eggs for some additional protein and fats. Now it's time to dress up the oatmeal. We have a lot in here right now. So we're gonna use some BPN cinnamon roll protein to kind of chase that Cinnabon flavor, I'm just a few doses short of some MDMA. But we're gonna go one scoop, 130 calories. Don't even tell me that you see cauliflower rice. Don't even tell me. And then last but not least, the last step, this always makes Katie jealous because we're gonna top off the oatmeal with some PV2 and Walden Farms, but I always tell her, it's not the oatmeal that gets handcuffed. So we're gonna go with a nice drizzle right on top. Ooh, that was zigzag. Mm. Look at the size of this bowl. It's so heavy, I'm literally getting delt hypertrophy right now. Calories for this meal are 633 calories. You're looking at 58 grams of protein, 62 grams of carbs, and 17 grams of fat. This oatmeal is literally like a bodybuilder's kiddie pool. It's so massive, I cannot wait to get into it. I just crave something sweet in the morning, especially having so much savory before getting out of bed. I have been eating 2,500 calories every single day, spaced out pretty evenly between four meals. I used to be someone who would pretty much snack all the way up until dinner. And what I found was I was constantly thinking about food. I was always hungry. So by me doing four bigger size meals, my appetite was way down, thinking about food a lot less, which just made things a lot easier. You guys know that I like to eat a lot. So in order for me to lose weight, I gotta find ways to expend more calories. So with that said, my minimum step count went from 10,000 a day all the way up to 15,000 a day. And I do F45, which we're going to right now every other day on top of my weightlifting, which is a lot, but I like to you know go towards the side of increasing my output. Scale one to 10, how hard is it when you say? It's like 10 minutes seems like 45 minutes. You have 10 exercises, 45 seconds work, 15 seconds transition time, and then you're right into it. Okay. Will, are you gonna test it out like for real? Yeah. No, he's going deep. Oh, oh, oh. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. God. It's like some of this is so easy, like if you did it individually. Yeah. But by the time you get to like the last one, you're so gaseous yeah. and your legs are like lead. It's pretty fun. Normally I would be terrified to go into something like this, but since I've been doing F45 like every other day for the past 30 days, my cardio has gotten a lot better. I'm kind of used to these workouts. These workouts though, 
humble the shit out of you, but farts make me a little bit nervous. It makes me nervous for every workout. This is so bad. After it's gonna be terrible, yeah. <laughs> if you think you're strong in the gym, you come here, you're a little bitch, guaranteed. Three, two, go, oh, let's go. Look at all that power. All right, here we go, I'm gonna count. One, two, three, four. Oh, can we get three more? Get to 60, there's 60, 61, all right. All right, knee tuck push-ups. You got five seconds to get in there, Want some help. All right, ready, let's go. Time's in. So all, that's, there you go, that's one. Oh my that's God. two, it's terrible, oh. isn't it? Come on, let's go. Come on, buddy. This is a fucking joke, bro. <laughs> Five. Oh my god. How are we feeling? Not Let's good. Go we got a nice break station coming up. Huh. Box on burpees. Oh, oh my god. Back. There we go. Last one. Last one. Finish it. Finish it. There we go. Time's up. Now we're going straight to pull ups. Oh my god. Straight to pull ups. How much time? Uh, five seconds. Like I said, you can strategize, chill for a couple seconds. I think the strategy is skipping one of them. <laughs> all right, do these all day. Six. One more, one more. Whoa, 50, there you go, that's good, because those are worth the most, I think. How much time? Uh, three seconds. <laughs> Man. We got this. 15 seconds goes by quick. Yeah. Makes me want to say sorry, Katie. <sighs> Got a couple more. That's it. Ball touches the ground. That's it. And then this is like, fam, this is where you start to get your fing kind of. This is where it gets tired. But this is a deep squat again. We're just picking up. Boom. Drop it over. 11. Nice. There we go. All right. And we're done. We just got this little so start inside the cone. We just have sprints. That's it. With four jumps. That's it. Boom. Here we go. Hustle in. So we got. One, two, three, bring it back. That's one. There we go. Oh my god, I feel terrible at this point. Oh. Nice work. Thank you, appreciate That's it. That's hard, eh? It's yeah, thank you. I am still gassed from the 10 minute workout, I'll tell you that. But it's time to make meal number two, which is gonna be the pre-workout meal for the gym. And this is my favorite meal of the day. You know, we don't wrap much up in this house besides Christmas gifts and now buffalo chicken wraps. I'm gonna show you how to make that. So starting with the wraps, I like to use these Joseph's Oat brand and whole wheat wraps. I do three of those. I got myself five ounces of leftover chicken breast. I know thighs save lives, but I'm a 90s baby, guys. Breasts are best. Next up, we're gonna add one cube of Laughing Cow cheese, only 25 calories, goes a long way, adds a nice really like rich cream cheese component. Holy fuck. These are kid proof, man. Usually I do 30 calories worth of vegetables, so using some broccoli, slaw, tomato, roughly estimate 30 calories. I found this absolute gem. So it's a 35 calorie yogurt salad dressing creamy Caesar. Brad showed me it when we were tossing a couple salads. I was like, hey, I'll bring it into the kitchen. It's a little more than 22 grams. Cheat day. Then we're gonna go in with some Frank's Red Hot to taste. I like a lot, I like it spicy. And then last but not least for the mixture, we're gonna go with one serving of part skim cheese, 80 calories, which is 30 grams. Now we're just gonna combine everything, mash up the cheese with the chicken. Now we're gonna take some broccoli slaw, just a little bit on the bottoms, and now we're gonna take our spread. So we're really gonna test the limits of these wraps. It could shock on date night, and we're really gonna fill them here. Now we're gonna give it a roll, take me back to my high school days. Nice, tight, and compact, the best in the business. One of the hardest things to get used to again is actually implementing my food into my fitness pal. But this meal is 645 calories, 69 grams of protein. Was that planned? No, but nice. 45 grams of carbs and 21 grams of fat. On the side, I have a scoop of electrolytes. I like to have this pre-workout. I don't take pre-workout anymore. I feel like I get kind of nauseous during the workout. So I have a scoop now and then a scoop during and I feel great and I have the energy. So don't be reliant on pre-workout and pump products. You don't need it. I feel like I'm barely gonna be able to get my mouth around Joseph. That's always the case. In this household, we take meat to places that it, it, it didn't expect to go. Chicken, a boring white meat, 
jazz it up. This again, can't keep with your chicken. I asked you guys on Instagram, do you want to see an upper body workout or a lower body workout? And the choice for upper body was overwhelming. Somebody literally said to me, that's like making us choose between donuts and salad. My goal going into a cut is to maintain my muscle. If I add muscle, that is a bonus, but overall my goal is just to maintain what I have. But my intensity is really, really high. I like to keep the weight the same during my cut as I did when I started my cut. We got 70 pounds, top set weight, hoping for 10 here. Set one done, got eight reps. It is what it is. One of the benefits of doing only two sets is the fact that it is only two sets. So mentally, you're gonna give it everything that you have. I got nine on set two, eight on set one. I don't know. Exercise number two, I'm gonna do a seated, unsupported Smith Machine shoulder press. The reason why I like to do it unsupported, I just feel like I can you know, use more of my delt, less of my upper chest. And I just follow through overhead, back down. One cue, I like to kind of stack the joints. So when you come down, you want forearms, elbow, wrist, all in line. Exercise number three, we are gonna do the lateral raise. On the last set, we're gonna do a rest pause, which is when you do, you know, you're set to failure, you drop the weight, rest around 10 to 15 seconds, pick it back up, do five more reps, continuing that process until you can no longer hit five reps. A lot of people have the tendency to kind of go like, kind of go like this. Your thumb should always be facing the wall. You will notice way more of an activation in your delts. If you want a bigger bench press, you want to work your rear delts. So first thing we're going to do is a face pull but lying on the floor. I feel like when I do it standing, I use too much trap. So by lying on the floor, you know, it eliminates the traps a little bit. And then we're going to move over to a single arm pull down. Got up by the balls, slide bend, extend, 45 out. Having the big rear delts gives you that 3D appearance, which makes you so much bigger. So, delts all finished, moving on to some arms. First exercise we're gonna do is the seated dumbbell preacher curl, three sets, 10 to 12 reps. I do two things for biceps, one thing for triceps. I'm kind of a minimalist when it comes to tricep work. I just don't wanna get elbow tendonitis, and I feel like by doing a lot of pressing with the shoulders and like bench press, dumbbell bench press, I'm hitting my triceps indirectly. So I'm gonna do one thing for that. So we're gonna do this first. And my biceps suck. I hate training arms. Last exercise of the day, we're gonna be doing my favorite bicep exercise, the cable curl, two arms at a time. So we did the preacher curl before where the dumbbell was in front of us. Now the weight's gonna be behind us. So we're working the full range of the bicep. I don't like to be in the gym for a very long time. I like to, you know, get on with the rest of my life because I have another life besides the gym. So usually you should get this done in under an hour. If you really, you know, grind, put your phone down, 50 minutes, all you need. I just did like five minutes of posing post-workout and literally posing was harder than the entire workout. So when you think bodybuilding is hard, it's hard. But the thing that you think is probably the easiest makes or breaks how well you do in the sport, which is insane. So never underestimate posing. You all know that I am famously rough with my zucchini, so I always try to give it a second chance, and I think of recipes all the time, and I really like this one. This is some zucchini chips. So I cut up 400 grams of zucchini in some chips. We've got some breadcrumbs and some Parmesan cheese. So I have a quarter of a cup of the breadcrumbs in here, and what we're gonna do is add two tablespoons of the Parmesan cheese, and we're gonna let it snow like it's my car dashboard. So this is gonna add like 120 calories here. We are gonna take zucchini into the egg, then into the breadcrumbs, then into the air fryer. Repeat that process a lot of times. I know you must be thinking like, damn, this takes a lot of time to make dinner. I just wanna whip something up quick, but I think it's super important, especially on a diet, to get creative, have fun with it, and take that extra time so you actually enjoy what you're eating because it's super important. And then we're gonna pop it into the air fryer for around 12 minutes at 370 degrees and then take it out, flip them, another five minutes and they're done. It is time to flip because both sides always need attention. Oh my God, take a look at that. That is some crispiness right there. Okay, five minutes and we're going in. So obviously I gotta have a dip for my chips. You were looking at like easily on the lower side, 60 calories, whereas if you buy the strained tomatoes and then you know season it yourself, you're only looking at 20 calories. So I have two servings of this in here, only 40 calories, added some basil, garlic powder, a bunch of good stuff in there. Gonna dip that 
And then on top of the chips, of course, we need our protein. So I cooked up nine ounces of chicken breast. So we just have five minutes to wait. We're gonna put the other batch of zucchini in and that is dinner. Second batch of the zucchini is in the air fryer. So the total calories for all of the chicken, all of the zucchini and the sauce is 758 calories, 96 protein, 44 carbs only, and 22 grams of fat. Look at that crispiness right there. Gonna give it a dip. We're going in and right up to my lip. You hear that? It's so hard on the outside that once it goes inside you, it just melts and goes soft. Mmm. You guys know what time it is? It is time for the nightcap. We are making some anabolic ice cream. I know you guys have seen it all over the place, but I'm gonna show you the best way possible to make it. I have it literally every single night. I took a, I took a break from it, but now we're back. First up, we're gonna add 300 grams of cashew milk or any nut milk of your choice. I find this one to be, I find this one to be the creamiest and nuttiest of them all, but any nut that you want, 300 grams. Next up, one scoop of protein. I like to have the Nutter Butter Blast BPN flavor in my ice cream. Delicious, it's pretty much like a Mars bar. So one scoop. I highly recommend adding some stevia or any zero calorie sweetener, just to taste. I usually do around like half of a teaspoon. And then we got some beautiful xanthan gum, which adds the volume to it. I love this stuff, I can practically snort it. So just, you know, around you know a quarter of a teaspoon. You do not need a lot. If you use a lot, it will hurt your tummy. And then we are gonna add 210 grams of fruit of your choice. I'm using blueberries. I used to always use strawberries because it is the lowest calorie fruit, but it does not taste nearly as good as the blueberries. Gotta love these blue balls. And we are gonna start filling it with some ice. So now it's time for my favorite part. One sec. <clears throat> okay, so let's see, let's do the reveal here. Look how creamy this is. Look at that. It's literally like a freaking Dairy Queen Blizzard consistency. And I'm gonna go like this, do a little dance. I got 12 grams of PB2. Most people blend it into the ice cream. Trust me, just right on top. Just a drizzle. Don't wanna kill myself too soon of Walden Farms. And then to dip it, what we're gonna do is have some caramel corn rice cakes, only 50 calories per. I have two of them, which makes it 100 calories. And this is the perfect anabolic nightcap. Calories for this unit of ice cream, including the rice cakes, 476 calories, putting my total calories and macros for the day at 2,463, 259 grams of protein, 206 grams of carbs, and 67 grams of fat. I absolutely love this thing. I go to bed stuffed out of my mind. It is, it is amazing to sit and watch a movie while you eat this. It tastes like it's 800 calories, I promise you that. What I wanna say is, nobody is gonna speak to you more than you speak to yourself in your own head. So make sure to be kind to yourself in your fitness journey. Set your own standards, don't try to live up to anyone else's. You don't have to be shredded. Just because you're shredded does not make you a better person. If you're not shredded, it doesn't make you a worse person. So always set your own standards. Be happy, be healthy, do it to be fit. Don't do it just to look a certain way. And I promise you there's a lot more longevity in it and you're gonna be doing it for much longer because you're gonna realize very, very soon there's way more to life than your body fat percentage. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next one.